Which city can you see in this picture? Little tip, it's not in Latvia. This question was posed to the 1,300 participants in this year's Latvian Geography Olympics. Everybody know it's Lisbon. And if you put this picture on uh, Google search, uh, he start uh, with this uh, Almada. So it's a small suburb from Lisbon. So anyone who answered Almada was almost certainly guilty of illegally using AI or at least search engines during the test. But geography is more than pure knowledge. Outdoor field trips as part of the curriculum are very popular in Latvia. It's not only these facts about uh, longest rivers, uh, tallest mountains, largest countries, etc. This, this is about geography is sinking. So it's about this process and, and development. The competition for the best young geographers offers winners places at prestigious universities and participation in the global Olympiad. Here, it becomes apparent who has been cheating. As everywhere in Europe, AI has long since found its way into Latvian schools. Less for cheating, more as an aid to coping with everyday learning. I also use AI in my own work, uh, but I try to use it in smart and responsible way. Uh, for example, I use it to help to structure my writing, organize my notes or get the ideas. Uh, from how to start the project and it helps me to save a lot of time and uh, stay more focused but I always try to make sure that the thinking and learning part uh, comes from me uh, not the AI. According to a Vodafone Foundation study almost three quarters of European students consider working with AI to be a crucial skill for their professional future. There are significant differences in assessment between countries. Man kann feststellen, dass in ähm, Ländern wie Deutschland, aber auch äh, Griechenland oder Spanien zum Beispiel, dieses Bewusstsein der Bedeutung für den späteren gelungenen Bildungs- und Berufsweg viel weniger stark ausgeprägt ist. Mhm. Und da macht man sich mehr Gedanken darüber, äh, ob dann jetzt wohl alles gerecht in der Schule ablaufen wird, ob Leistungen noch fair bewertet werden. Äh, ob man des Schummels bezichtigt wird. Almost two thirds of students in Europe learn how to use AI together with friends. Next come the parents. Only half say that AI skills are taught at school. Esther Mate is the exception. My first ever experience with AI was from my Latvian teacher. She was quite young. I think a couple of years older than us so she was just yeah trying to teach the new generation and then I kind of started exploring myself also sometimes friends I think they also are like the same as I am doing um, they tell me like fun tips and tricks or something like that 44 percent of respondents think their teachers are AI competent conversely this means that over half doubt they can teach them anything useful about chat GPT and similar tools Es ist erkennbar, dass in allen europäischen Ländern es noch nicht wirklich gelungen ist, eine gut überlegte und dann auch auf allen Ebenen durchgesetzte Strategie für den Umgang mit KI zu entwerfen. If you ask ChatGPT about the use of AI in schools, you get the following answer. KI an Schulen fördert Lernen, verlangt aber verantwortungsvollen Einsatz. 